In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at using your AirTurn VT105 with a laptop in order to trigger audio files using a great open source media program called VLC Media. This is an all-purpose audio video player that plays uh, probably the widest variety of file formats and it's a great way for you to set up and create playlists so for example if you want to pl you know, play some audio backing tracks while you're performing and want to control uh, when they play when they pause move to the next track you can all do that wirelessly by connecting your BT-105 with your computer a Bluetooth com equipped computer and uh, setting up VLC Media. What's great about this program is that it is a media program that has programmable hotkeys which we can assign to the BT-105's keyboard output commands. So let's start off from the very beginning. Let's um, go into your settings. I'm, gonna go, you, I'm using a MacBook um, running Snow Leopard right now and what we're going to do is we're going, my BT-105 is turned on. I'm going to go into my Bluetooth settings over here I'm going to set up a new device to get it connected to my MacBook. It's going to search for this device, and here we go. We've got this appear. Sometimes you may not see the serial name. If you don't, it'll just say a generic keyboard. The BT-105 essentially is an external wireless keyboard. Let's go ahead and continue here to get it paired up. And for the most part, it should pair automatically. If you have any problems, if it starts asking for some sort of pass key, you can enter simply four zeros, zero, 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 zero. Um, older versions of Bluetooth may ask for that, but uh, if you have an up-to-date MacBook, you, sh you should be able to just go see this uh, congratulations message. And let's go ahead and quit. And now I have my BT-105 paired up with my uh, MacBook over here, as you can see. Okay, so let's go ahead and close this up. Now let's go into VLC Media itself. I'm going to go into my applications over here scroll down and here we go I have VLC media already installed and I'll have the link for VLC media uh, set up in our uh, tutorial article okay so this is the basic player over here and what I want to do is I want to set up a playlist let's go ahead and um, let's set this so that we can see the whole playlist options you can also hotkey that as you can see so here we go. So I'm, I have nothing right now on my playlist. I'm going to go ahead and select some songs. Let me move this over so I can just maneuver this a little bit better. Let's go to music over here. And uh, go to some of these MP3s. Let's see if I might have something over here. Uh, I might have iTunes, media. Let's see. Let's, here we go. Let's see. I can think of some music in here. Let's take a look at this. Perfect. I've got some Nora Jones. I'm going to see if I can add some of her songs over here. Go ahead and, um, ooh, excuse me, and go into this album. Come away with me. Let's just say, just for, just make, make it simple, we're going to go ahead and move all of this over here. Just a bunch. You can go ahead and select multiple. I, I, what I can do is I can tap the first song, hit my shift key. This will work with the PC as well. Tap on the last song in the selection and then I have all those selected. If I want to just choose individual songs, I can use my control key, click the first song, hit the control key on a PC or the command key on the Apple, and I can select individual songs that way by holding the, either the control key on the PC or the command key on the Apple, holding it down while I make the selections with my mouse. Okay, now we have some songs selected. Click and holding the mouse button down, we're gonna drag all these things over here and as you can see, our playlist has now come up uh, with these songs that I've selected. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to see if I can save this playlist. All right, let's go ahead and save this as Nora Jones playlist. Okay, and as you can see, it's going to default itself into the documents folder over here. Okay, great. I've got a great playlist. Let's pull this away. And now what I want to do is I want to configure VLC Media so that I can trigger these songs and move between these tracks, okay, with my BT-105. Let's go to VLC over here, and you might have to search for it, and you know, the PC may have a different um, layout in terms of its menu selections, but basically you should be looking for something called Preferences, okay? Click on that. And now you're going to see several menu items over here on top. 
let's move all the way over here to something called hot keys hot key settings click on that and you're going to see several options over here now I've already gone ahead and I've, I've played with VLC so I have this set but I'm going to show you how I did that look for something called play pause okay this is the action that we want to use for one pedal to uh, basically play and pause the track and you can see over here the shortcut key I've already set it to uh, what the BT-105 has by default on its right pedal but if I want to change that I'm going to go ahead and click on change over here and now using my BT-105 I'm going to go ahead and press one of the buttons or one of the pedals and as you can see as I'm pressing the pedals it'll recognize them as keyboard commands so if I press the right pedal the left pedal will be up the right pedal will be down. I'm going to use the down pedal for pause and play. Okay, and then hit OK. And now that's always already set. Now if I want to go and change the track, go to the next track. Again, look for something called next. Click on change. And again, if I already have the same key uh, assigned to another track, you can see that this combination is already taken by play pause. So that was actually my right pedal. I'm going to use my left pedal, which is the up command. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. And there you go. Just save that keyboard configuration. And now, I'm going to go ahead and pull up my volume a little bit here so you can hear this. What should happen is if I have, I press my right pedal, and you can hear that it starts to play in just a second. There we go. And if I press that pedal again, right pedal, It'll pause that track. Hit the right pedal again and it'll play. Pretty cool. Isn't it? So I can have my backing track playing pause. Now if I want to move to the next track, I'm going to tap my left pedal, which I signed. Don't I start playing. Go to the next track again, hit my left pedal. There you go. The right pedal will pause. So that's a quick tutorial on getting your Airtrim BT-105 set up with this great program called VLC Media to set up playlists, to playback, to pause, to move between tracks. And as you can see, as I'm moving between it's tracks, it'll automatically no. recycle back to the beginning when I get to the it's end it's of that last track over here. As you can see. Pretty cool. So that's uh, our tutorial on using the BT-105. And this will work with Mac or PCs. Uh, it's an open source program, which means it's free. Fantastic media player. Highly recommended.